As a small streamer, I'm always looking for the best tools and extensions that are, of course, free. Hello, my name is Antonio, and this is Antonio with Tech. Let's lose no time and jump into the five tools and extensions all streamers should have. First one is Stream Elements. Before I started using Stream Elements, I got Streamlabs, and this is how I feel about it. Yep. That's about right. I'm not going to get into Streamlabs, but let's say switching to Stream Elements was the best decision I made. Stream Elements is free and has the following features. OBS.live, a version of OBS optimized for Stream Elements, a chatbot that is cloud-based, cloud-based overlays, and a Stream Elements merch store, or the SE merch store. All those things are amazing, but in my opinion, the biggest perk is cloud-based overlays. It helps your stream run a lot smoother, especially if you're streaming on an older PC slash weaker PC. And even on the SE merch store, it is completely free to use. The cloud bot is excellent and has lots of customizations, allows you to add timers, allows you to add all the different commands, and set basically pretty much anything that you would do in any other similar streaming software. It's worth it, it's free, Easy to use, had barely any issues with stream elements, other than when there's issues at Twitch, of course, but that's a different story. Number two is Dixper. And I found about this extension through a good friend of mine, Manny, who streams, and he started using Dixper very recently. So what exactly is Dixper? Dixper is an interactive platform for streamers and viewers, and it allows you as a streamer to amplify your income by selling skills by which your viewers can send to your stream. These skills are real interactions that in real time affect the gameplay of your stream. For example, you can make the computer mouse gigantic, invert the screen, add a voice filter to the microphone, change the keyboard into a piano, send a jump scare, and a lot more. Even take away loots if you're playing Fortnite. It is a free extension for your US streamer. You just make money from the purchases your viewer makes similar to donations, and the earnings are dependent on your status as a streamer. So it is as follows. A streamer takes 70%, an affiliate streamer takes 80 and a partner streamer takes 90% of the cut. This function only, of course, works with computer games and with certain games only, of course. But if you want to check it out, I'll link their website in the description below. The next one is Triggerfire. And I got recommended this also by my good friend Manny. Triggerfire lets you easily create and manage media triggers, which your chat can activate on your stream. A range of options allow you to fine tune each trigger setting. You can upload GIFs, images, WebM files, audio files, and make triggers for every occasion. Easy to set the trigger words and commands for your chat to activate each of them. I use this tool myself and it is amazing. I have never had much of an issue with it. I have add between videos to just sound by itself, add just specific keywords. So if someone just writes, let's say for example, lurking, they don't have to put exclamation point lurking, they can just when they type lurking, it automatically shows up the lurking video or the lurking audio. The next one is sound alerts. Sound alerts is something I started using pretty much since I first started streaming back in December 2020. For those who do not know what it is, it's an extension, which is all done within Twitch. Sound alert also has their own website that makes it easier to adjust all the settings and even upload custom sounds. The best thing about it is that with sound alerts, once you reach affiliate level, you can set bits as a way for your viewers to pay for the sounds that they want to play. Before that, they're all free for viewers. And once you get to affiliate, then you can customize however much you want to charge people for a specific sound individually. So you set the prices individually for each sound and it's all done to the payment of bits. Then the next one would be Snap Camera. Snap Camera allows you to quote, bring the magic of lenses to your live stream and video chats on PC and Mac. If you're familiar with Snapchat lenses, is that, but now available on your streams or video calls. That's pretty much what it is. If you're into adding a little bit of flair and effects to your videos or live streams, then this is a perfect way to add some sick AR into your Twitch streams. It's super cool. I've seen people use it. I haven't used it myself, but I've seen people use it and it's pretty spot on. I, it's kind of creepy sometimes if you put certain filters or add certain effects, but it looks super, super cool. And if you want something that is simple to install and to download into your computer, then this is a great extension to have. That's all I have for today's video. There are of course a shit ton more of extensions and tools for streamers out there. But these are some of the ones that I have a personal connection to or have seen people use it and I know that I can recommend it without feeling like I'm recommending something that I don't know anything about. So if I miss any tools or extensions that should have been in this list or that could be helpful to other streamers or have been helpful to you, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in watching me stream, I stream three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at twitch.tv The Antonio Ruiz. I'll also link that down below in the description. So hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all next time.